why people get married young sometimes, but that's just how my parents kind of looked at it. But yeah. 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 Well, as someone that's like doing sorry. that, right. I, you know, and, and as someone that never wanted to be that girl was always like, okay, 25 at least. I was really like, okay, I, I have to not be in the fantasy bubble. Right. I can't just be like, oh, it's a happy ending. And this is great. Like I had to be like, no, be freaking serious. Like if this is wrong, you are leaving, you are running away. And so I was like, okay, <laughs> I had to like tackle what it is to be married. Right. And, and, it, and it, it, it's gotta be, you have to be able to, to know every like little detail. Like what is their retirement goal? What does a retirement look like? Because, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yeah, like, is it what, what kind of, where do they see them? Yeah, there you go. it's true. And like all the little nitty gritty details of, of, uh, of, can you grow with this person? Have, have they seen you in all four seasons? Like there was one guy that like I dated for like a month and he's like, let's get married. I was like, you haven't even seen like my freckles come out in the summertime yet, you know? And that was a big thing. And that's like, you know, it's very symbolic of a lot of other things. It's like, you don't even, you don't even know. Like my favorite thing this. to do is You're swim known. in the lake. And you didn't know that, you know. You wash your hands after going to the bathroom. <laughs> Important things. Yeah. Important <laughs> things. Um, yeah. And, and just, just like, I met, I'm very grateful. I met my fiance when he was at his very lowest point. And then I promptly went into the worst year of my life. And had like horrible things thrown and try and like anxiety attacks and just like family trials and family emergencies and like everything was thrown at me. And he was there every step of the way. Cause I had asked, I was like, all right, God, I need to know that I can make it through hell and back with whoever I'm gonna marry. And so yeah. he gave it to me. And I'm so grateful. And and you know, talking to a lot of people, they're like, you can't go into the marriage thinking that it's gonna be butterflies and rainbows. It is agonizing and it is war and it is hell and when you have that expectation going into it it is the greatest thing you'll ever do and so it's really like you have to like bunker down it's not worse yeah it's not like oh you run away with your french charming no it's picking someone to survive life with right who who would you want to be stranded on a desert island with and that is your person and then you stick with them because you will you will not survive if not you know now of course you know there's you, maybe you pick a bad person and things happen and you get divorced, you can survive and you'll be fine. But <laughs> you have to go. It's like, that's the that goal. You don't go into it being like, I'm going to prepare for it. Like, I want yeah. divorce. No, yeah. I yeah. Guess. Like, and you, when you're moving, it's 1 a.m. You're still trying to pack up everything. You're both tired. You're grumpy. You're hungry. When you get done, like, are you guys going to look at each other and be like, I love you? Like, we can yeah. do this. Come on. Or are you going to be like, <laughs> yeah screw man like who's gonna be exactly. there exactly and i I heard this quote once that was like when you're dating someone look at them at, at every single thing they do with your eyes wide open and when you're married keep them half shut <laughs> and i love that i love it <laughs> and i knew everything i was like i know everything i, I the first line of my i said here are your flaws i know you i know your personality type. i've dated so many versions of you <laughs> it's like i know you it's like this, 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 this. And I was like, I will not stand for this. I will not stand for this. And when you keep the bar raised, if they don't mean it, you say, mm mm, not deal with it. And if you keep it there, they'll they'll surpass it. Speaking so of straight facts, this woman. No worries. <laughs> I have this comment real quick. Uh said, uh, marriage is looked upon as this is the key for happiness. It's not, but it is the best foundation for genuine and fulfilling life when both parties are always striving to be better for each other. All right, yeah, thank yeah. you for that comment, uh, Daniela. No, that's something I noticed today in America, like uh, because of you know Disney and uh, the Disney fairy tale. I, I do notice a lot of people uh, they want to get married because they think that's going to make them happy. So it's pretty. So their happiness is predicated on marriage. And for me personally, like I don't think people should get married because of happiness. I think people should get married for a purpose. And I think that's one of the reasons why like our parents and grandparents their marriages lasted longer because they didn't they didn't get married because of happiness they got married because they had the same purpose like they wanted to get together they wanted to have children they wanted a family but they had their purpose aligned and i think when two people come together and have purpose because let's be honest like happiness it comes and go like you can be happy today tomorrow you can be sad 
So if you predicate your marriage on happiness, you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be a surprise for a rude, rude awakening because there's gonna be a lot of days that you're gonna wake up and not be in love or hate you hate your partner. But this but there has to be something there to keep you with that person, and that's why that's why purpose comes on. Like if I'm gonna get married with a woman, I'm not gonna get married with a woman that that makes me happy because I take that responsibility for myself. Like that's my responsibility to be happy. But I'm gonna marry a woman that has the same purpose. Um, and goals of what she wants out of life, especially when it comes to a relationship with me. So I like kids. I want to build a big family. I want to build a strong family. I want to build a family that we can give our kids a better life. Uh, and so I'm looking for a woman that can has that same goal and mindset and, and we're willing to go down that same path. And I'm not looking for her to make me happy. That's something that I already take that responsibility. And uh, But when we do those things together, when you do those things, when you work, uh, you guys all know this, when you do things within your purpose in life, do things that have meaning, when you do things that has a positive impact into the world and the people around you, the byproduct of that, you feel good. Like when you do good things, when you're kind, when you love, when you do good things that has an impact in your life, like you feel good and that byproduct is happening. So I'm not going to get married, like, okay, if I get married, I'll be happy. No, I'm get, I want to find a woman that we have the same purpose and we have the same things and we want the same things in life. And we're going to work on those things every single day, whatever it's good, up and down, worse, good, but when we do those things over long periods of time, like that's how we're gonna, then the, we naturally wanna be naturally happy and the joy comes out. But I think people go in f into marriages and long-term relationships. Cause I remember I had a conversation with my dad one time and uh, I asked him like, would you ever leave your mom? Like my mom, and when he, cause you know, sometimes we'll get into arguments or you have those things. But my, like, it's like, man, don't you, don't you wanna leave sometimes? And he, like, he's like, no, I mean, I, you know, we have arguments, but like, in his mind, that he would he would never fathom the thought of leaving because he just felt this purpose, like this. No, my purpose in life was to be with your mom and have children and be with her, regardless of the things we go through. Like that's like me leaving your mom. Like that's not possible, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, but today in America, it's like people, you know, lack purpose. People lack, you know, lack growth. People are not working, bettering themselves. So like, you just do things because that's what everybody else is doing and. Uh, I do see that when you're in a relationship, if you guys are not doing it for a specific purpose or vision of where you guys going, where you guys are going, then when things get hard, you're gonna break. Um, so that's why you guys gotta have that strong foundation. I think purpose is one of them. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, I just wanna throw that in there. Yeah, happiness. Yeah, whenever I meet a woman, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, I wanna get married. I wanna. I hope you make me happy. I'm like, oh, time to go. <laughs> I'm like, if you're looking for me to your happiness, then I know like. Oh, there's a lot of issues within this girl. If you're looking for me to fix her problems eternally, uh, to make you happy, I was like, man, you've had some bad experiences, and uh, I'm I'm not here to make you happy. Uh, that's that's her. That, you know, I just I gotta find somebody that's really happy with themselves. I'm really happy with me, and we find joy in, uh, being with each other. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Dave, uh, Daniela, thank you for that uh, comment, real quick. Um, ladies, do you have any any anything to add to that conversation before we move on to the next topic? Go ahead, Alexis. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, this is obviously a very crucial topic for this point in my life. Um, so the attitude that I have is that any problems that you have now will just be amplified in marriage. It's not going to be solved. And so there was a time where I was like, okay, you know, I do live a very, very long distance away. And I was like, yeah, that could be solved with marriage. <laughs> but I was like, no, 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 you have to gain the patience and do the work and, you know, take the time, take the year, too bad. And and that will fix the problem, not not marriage. Um, and also just a lot of, like you had said, like you have to, it also is a matter of identity. I found that people with successful marriages are people that identified as people that devoted themselves to marriage, that wanted marriage, that wanted to have a successful marriage, right? And those that don't usually don't, don't have that identity trait. I always think of Carl from Up, right? Part of his identity trait is that he loves his wife. That is just like, who he is that is just his core and so I was like I'm gonna find one of those kind of people that their core is I want a successful marriage um, <laughs> yeah it's just like yeah. a really have you, have you guys ever met have you guys ever met people with strong purpose in life like they're very driven and they don't like like whatever they believe in they'll they'll do anything to make that happen mm -hmm. and also you, you, you also meet the reverse right have you ever seen people who have no purpose in life Right when when things get hard, like they just they buckle under the pressure and they give up so easily. But but if you notice people who will have clear purpose in life, they don't give up. Like they know what they want. They've made it a commitment in their life that this is what I want out of life, and there's nothing's gonna stop me. 
to make that happen. And that's what happens when you have purpose. Uh, but if you don't have that purpose within your relationship and you're just like, you know, then like, like it's just, it's going to fail because when, because life is hard. It's, it's a struggle. It's going to happen eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Yeah, Alexis, I mean, you're dropping some bombs, Alexis. Dropping some bombs. Tonight. Oh, I got, I got two more for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything worth doing is difficult. Yeah, anything exactly. Anything worth yep. doing is hard. And um, the other one is that love, no matter what, if it's good, bad, healthy, ugly, any of that, it is always going to come with pain. But you get to pick your pain. So if you pick a terrible love for you, you're going to end up with abuse. You're going to end up with low self-confidence. You're going to end up with blah, 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 blah. Or if you pick a love that's good for you, you're going to end up with mourning and longing and missing all the, you know, you pick your pain and, uh, and stick with it and love it and keep it, hold on to it. Yeah. All right. So that's what I was going to say. Make me feeling, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Enlightened, thank you.